Hey YouTube, this is going to be a review, my review on the Destroyer pedal and the Goodwood Mods drum set for Rock Band 2 and or Rock Band 1, Beatles Rock Band, like, okay, you get the idea. Let's start with the Destroyer pedal. This pedal is very nice. It's very expensive, but it's very nice. The entire pedal itself is actually made out of metal, okay? Everything about it. There's nothing on it made it plastic except for the sensors now. Let me show you. The pedal has rebound, okay? There's no way you're going to break this. There's no wobbling. The pedal itself is a load bearer of wobbling. These springs right here. Okay? You can see? Everything is made out of metal. This is how it works. This is a normal drum pedal. Some guy took a drill press and drilled two holes right here. And he mounted the sensor and he mounted this sensor. Okay? When you push down, the sensor picks up both notes. That's why heel toe is so easy, because the sensors are barely touching. Okay? Now... Another great thing about the pedal is that it's plug and play ready. I'm just going to plug it from the drum set here. You just take this little plug right here and you plug it into the orange slot in your Rock Band 2 drum kit. Now let's get to the drum kit itself. Despite the installation being a big pain in the ass, here are the Goodwood mods. These things are amazing. There's nothing really bad to be said about the pads themselves. Now, one bad thing is that I'm still trying to get used to drum rolls on them, but I'm sure I'll get used to that in due time. Um, do some gameplay footage in a couple of seconds here of Colony of Birchman. I thought it would be pretty good to test the chart. I'll give you an idea, of, give you guys an idea of how bouncy the actual pads are. Shoot, I can't do that because it's gonna exit out. Um, let's see. Okay, so here it is. And it picks up every light well, every light note like that. You can hit anywhere. The pads themselves are actually made out of mesh. It's very sturdy. There's actually pipe under it. You have to rip off the old drum pads, which is sort of gay, but Okay, let's get to the gameplay. We're going to be doing Colony of Birchman, Rock Band 2. Uh, 52 inch TV with my own lag settings on it. Okay. Let's get the camera angle up in this. Yeah, it looks decent. Okay. I'm bound to miss notes. I'm not very awake to be exact. Okay. missing this now. That sound it makes is this big ass plastic ring around the drum set. Big pain. Okay? These things will chew up your drumsticks as you guys can see right here. Let's see. All those little indents there. I don't really think you can see it. All the little indents are just the wear and tear. Okay? Just turn the tip of the drum head black because... Okay. Anyway. Plastic rings. So, the drum pad itself is fine mesh. It's really bouncy. I don't really know what the white thing is in the middle. I'm pretty sure it's just styrofoam. Just keeping it up. Just so you know what's under the pad is. Um, these are individual screws. There's like 16 of these fuckers, you know. Um, yeah. So, the plastic ring comes off like half an inch off the actual pad. You guys can see my finger is like covered by it a little bit. So when you're playing, okay, yeah, when you're playing, it's just going to bounce around, hit these pads a lot. Wow. Okay, the pads are so bouncy, sometimes your drumsticks will actually bounce off of these. You guys need to have a lot of practice, but, uh, you know, that's the review. And, oh, one more thing I do want to mention. 
the pads are added to the existing Rock Band 2 drum kit. It's, okay, if you guys can see here, this is a little bit thicker than you're used to. You have to put film under here. It's so thick that sometimes these little gaps between the drum set, your drumstick gets caught in here and you start ripping your drumsticks apart like I mentioned earlier.